Look at that. Unbelievable. I just, that looks like a fantasy scene to me. Welcome to Dan's on the Street. I'm Dan. Today we're going to visit an interesting country. Not Italy, but an enclave country. One of three enclave countries in the world called San Marino. And an enclave means it's entirely enclosed within another country. Which is pretty crazy that these exist. There's three of them. I'll let you guess the other two. San Marino. And it's a small country, only 24 miles, 24 square miles big. Uh, so we'll kind of check out the whole place. The capital is San Marino, but it's so small, you know, we'll bounce around, I think. And, well, let's just drop right in. It's based around this crazy mountain right in the middle. Ancient place, dates back to like the 3rd century, 4th century, somewhere in there. And let's just drop right in here on one of these streets going up this hill. Okay. We're on this street here in October 2010. So pretty old. Google hasn't been back in a while. Lovely bushes climbing up there. Vines. Oh, telephone. Okay. Wonder if that's still there. Maybe. Beautiful view out here. Look at this. Great Italian countryside. Or, I don't know if it... I don't know if we're looking into Italy there, or if we're looking out into San Marino. Again, so small. It's crazy that it's been able to preserve its independence and autonomy for so long. Um, I don't know how exactly that happened. I, I've read a very little bit about it on Wikipedia. But it must have a fascinating history to exist like this. What a view out this house. My oh my. Tight roads going up this hillside. Love this place with the rounded corners almost and uh, shutters. Steep sidewalks or, you know, can't tell if that's even open to cars. It doesn't look like it. People walking on the street kind of. Tight and narrow and steep streets going up this hillside. Or mountainside, I guess. Fantastic. Kind of a gray, cloudy day out here. We're not getting wonderful view. I mean, the view is still fantastic, but uh, not seeing too much clarity. Via Piana. <laughs> October. Beautiful month. Look at this view. So nice. Love these red roofs. Old steeples. Clock tower. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, I love this clock tower here. That's great. Let's turn this corner a little bit. Continue down the hill. I just rest in there. Cool place. All right. Let's pop out, get another view of this. So they built castles on top of this. A couple castles, it seems like. Um, and I, yeah, I read the date to... At least one of them dates to the 11th century. Which is just insane. To me, I'm to imagine the the effort that you know they had to bring all these stones up here, all the way up that hillside. Look at this place, fantastic! Oh, I'd love to visit here. The old holes here, uh, you know, the fortress. I don't know if they shoot arrows out of that or something, or it's just it was just a window, I guess, too. Lovely courtyard. Ah. Oh. I wonder what this looked like uh, 900 years ago. Basically the same, or, you know, all filled with people and activity, and... Oh, what a great place. 
and it I, I just don't I can't believe this thing let's orbit around a little bit if we can there it is it's sitting way up here on top of the world well on top of Santa Marina at least ridiculous Look at that rock face. I wonder if people go climbing on that rock. Interesting. I read there's only like 30, something like 33,000 people who live in San Marino. It's part of the EU. I'm not sure how that would work for... Like, do they have a military? They don't have a navy, I'll tell you that, right? Okay, we're up here. Touristy place. To be expected. Look at this view. People have been up here. Oh my word. This is scary. We're on the edge here. Um... Fantastic. People have been looking out at the scene for, you know, thousands of years. And out of these very castle, you know, walls for a thousand years. That's crazy to me. And just wonderful that it's still here, it was never demolished, or at least not completely. Looks like there's another castle peak down here pop on there we'll see more of this place than just these uh, castle walls but this has got to be the, the main attraction here right look at that unbelievable I just that looks like a fantasy scene to me it's straight out of Game of Thrones or something maybe it's in Game of Thrones I don't know maybe they shot some stuff here it wouldn't surprise me. What a great place. Oh, I'd love to visit here. This old door, even. It looks old. Definitely want to come here with a tour guide, I feel like. They could give you all kinds of details on the, the history, I'm sure. Oh, and this one? Okay, so this one's a, a church. Basilica... Oh yeah, there it is. Very... Wow. Okay. Looks very Roman or something. There's columns. Staircase. Pretty great old place. Definitely a Catholic country. Amazing streets. These lights are so bright here. I'd love to walk around up here even at nighttime. That'd be wonderful, right? Let's get another view of this. Oh yeah, bright day here. Wonderful. Yeah, just, can you imagine all the effort of bringing the stone up here? Back with horses and carts on rough roads. To build this fortress, you know. What a wonderful view. Clear sky, well, clear bright day. Good amount of tourists. I read that tourism is one of their big industries. It's like finance and tourism and one or two other things. Interesting. Funivia? <laughs> uh, sounds made up. Sounds fun. Oh, what? Is this, uh, I saw this down there, and I wasn't sure if it was what I thought. I, I, this is a cable car. You can take a ride. Okay. That's really cool. So you can take a, you know, a cable car. Or like a ski lift, almost, up the hillside. I don't know if that's like... A good way to get up, or sort of just a kind of touristy gimmick, but it seems like it could be practical. What's going on here? 
Feels like everyone's looking at us. Uh, hello, everyone. Getting a thumbs up. Very bustling. Tons of people out. Some old cars. Maybe this is like a parade or something. Is this all to welcome the Google Maps car? People used to do this when Google Maps first came out. They would like make an event of it and everyone knew about it. That or else this is just a car show and Google came along on it. That might be it. This guy perched up here getting a great photo of that old red car. This view is insane. This has got to be one of the most painted kind of general views in the world. The like Italian countryside painting is in homes all across the world, right? I think. I see it a lot of, in a lot of places. Sort of generic green hills and, you know, the whole Italian countryside look. And uh, what a sick view. This is a great place. I would love to visit. Getting a, getting a good little sense of it here, too. This has been very enjoyable. Classic church steeples, rooftop. I mean, it looks like a painting. That's crazy. Well, all right. We got to see some more than just that part of the place. That was thoroughly impressive. Let's drop down to the bottom here, see if we can look back at it. Oh, yeah, there it is up there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the church, I think. One of the castles. Most everyone here, I'm sure, lives somewhere down in the lower portion. Wonderful old stone house. Blue shutters. Village of Concordia, maybe? Abraham Lincoln? Maybe. A Lincoln. <laughs> uh, probably not Abraham. Oh, wait. It does look like Abramo Lincoln. I think this is named after Abraham Lincoln. That's random. Okay. Little playground here. Again, pretty tight streets. A lot of European, little European vehicles. It's the right vehicle for the streets. Maybe a scooter. I haven't seen any scooters, but that'd be a fun way of getting around here. I say that about most cities, though. I'm being honest. Cute homes. Mostly kind of white or off-white or yellow. That seems to be the, the choice of house color. Sometimes I wonder if that's like state mandated or, you know, local government. You know, could you paint your house blue if you wanted to? I don't know. Some places have rules about that stuff. All right, seen enough of that. That's great. All these homes have a lovely look to them. Looks like some orchards here, maybe. Vineyards. Again, the classic, the classic scenes you want when you're visiting a place like this. And again, we're not in Italy. Well, we are in Italy, but we're not we're in San Marino. <laughs> Not Italy. Construction going on around here, it said. It's got to be one of the prettiest places to farm in the world. An Italian farming field. I mean, what a countryside. It's got to be... I don't want to rag on Kansas or something, but like, all things being equal, if I was going to farm a flat field in Kansas, or, you know, this, I think I'd choose this. Again, I don't want to be mean to Kansas, but let's be honest. It's a really nice, it's a really nice farmland. <laughs> Beautiful. Very green. All right, let's. I gotta. Have, I'm gonna have to turn this on again. I don't want to accidentally leave the country here. 
So note the red outline. That's it. So let's visit the city of Dogana, maybe in Rovareta city. Well, or at least the town. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice little balconies all along. Park, villa. Hmm. This place looks nice up here. Let's move over. Look like a new, oh, super modern place here. Wow. That's cool. This is definitely a newer newer thing. Well, newer as of October 2010, right? Certainly got a cool look to it. Even this parking structure is kind of interesting. Two half, two semicircles. Uh, World Trade Center. Oh, it's a bank. It's, or something like that. This is a bank. That's a World Trade Center, I guess. Interesting. Cool that new stuff's like, like that's still going up. Tunelli Spa. Huh. Oh. Bioscience Institute? That sounds cool. Let's drop in that intersection. In a second. There it is. Okay. Yeah, definitely some places to work here. Uh, you know, I can tell there's some businesses happening. It's not just tourism, of course, that is, you know. People going to work, going about their days. Lovely roundabout. Interesting design here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seems like a great place to visit. Um... Definitely the place to go, though, has got to be that mountaintop we started at. I mean, this is all fine and nice through here, but... Well, after seeing that mountaintop, this feels a little unremarkable. <laughs> it's all... Yeah, nothing quite compares to that stunning place. Gotta be careful. I, I may have accidentally left the country there. All right, one more time. Let's turn this on. San Marino. Okay. Let's try somewhere back on this side of things. <laughs> Maybe here. Hmm, wintry day. Definitely got some snow. Oh, did I drop in a photograph? Give me one more try here. Steep hills. Love this misty. Oh man, probably some amazing mornings here. Look at that mist going through there. Again, looks like a painting. Another painting. Everywhere you turn can be a uh, painting on an Italian restaurant's wall. Street Canepa. Canepa Street? Senepa? I don't know how to say that. They speak Italian here. Should come as no surprise, but it's worth mentioning, I guess. One other random fact I read, and you can, uh, you can surprise your... Uh, you can query your guests at your next dinner party. San Marino is the only country, the only country in the world, where there are more cars than humans. That's a true fact. Well, according to Wikipedia, at least. I, I don't know. Isn't that pretty crazy? The only country in the world where there's more cars than people? Okay, whoa, winter wonderland here. Dropped into Narnia. What in the world? Ugh, 
careful up here. This is steep. I mean, it's kind of awesome, but... Whoa. Uh, I don't know what I learned from that other than they get some serious snow here. That was surprising. Okay, similar place, same place. December 2014, no snow. Oh, look at this. I sort of thought I saw this in the, from, in the view from above. Looks like an old watchtower or something. Some sort of castle tower. Look at this ancient stone. You're seeing like generations of stone too, I feel like. Some of this is like replaced maybe. How much of this is original? I have no idea. That craftsmanship, just insane. That it's still here. Wonderful that that was preserved. Oh yeah, there you get a little sense of it. Very good. Huh. What a cool place. All right, one or two more places, and I'm going to have to call it a day here. This has been thoroughly enjoyable. Let's drop down over here. There's that rock face and hillside up there. Move down the street a little bit. Beautiful distant peaks and farming. Hmm. I've never been to Italy. Uh, my parents are visiting coming up and they're super excited. I don't think they're going to... I should ask them, I guess. I don't know if they're going to San Marino. I, I doubt it, I guess. Obviously, there's plenty of great things to see in Italy in general, but I feel like this might be worth checking out. Oh, it's definitely worth checking out. Look at that. All right. That is just so epic, sitting behind there. All right, one more, one last view off the top. All right, one last view at the top, and I'm gonna call it a day here. Um, let's see, somewhere in here. If it's a good one. Hmm, this has been, this is pretty cool to see. Look at this old bridge. Uh, oh man. I want to get one more view, though. That was really cool. No. What's going on here? Uh, again, an amazing bridge. Can even see it in better detail there. Let's try somewhere else. Here we go. Okay, beautiful view. Unbelievable castle wall. 360 views. Look at how freaking pretty this is. Straight out of a movie. I mean, I'm, I don't even know. That like cheapens it to say it's out of the movie. It's just, it's amazing this is real. Look at that soccer field down there. These homes, the hills, the castle. Yeah, what can you say about it? It's it's unbelievable. All right, really, really impressive. All right, I'm gonna add it to my map. San Marino. Let's zoom back in and see it here. There it is. Wonderful, and I, I look forward to seeing. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be back in Italy soon too. There's so many cities here. Boy, oh boy. Oh, yeah. Some great places I'm going to check out. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe, tell your friends, and check out some of my other videos. All these little blue dots represent places I've been. Zagreb, 
Croatia. Oh boy, that was pretty amazing. Uh, Galazzi, Romania. Oh man, super beautiful. And I've been all around the world. Slowly filling up this place with blue dots. Um, yeah. And until uh, next time.